back to my channel. So today's gonna be something a little different. We are gonna be doing a girl talk. I'm very surprised to see that some people actually messaged me with certain situations after I posted my why I haven't made videos in a while. And a lot of people like generally liked the praise and the certain things I was stating to them. And so I got asked kind of like an advice thing. So let's jump in. So I got asked, is it okay to cut friendships off? Just not even friendships. Is it okay to cut people out of your life? And my answer to this is, heck yes, it is. Some things need to be broken. And if somebody isn't going to be there for you, they got to go. So we're going to start off with friendships. If you have a friend who you feel as though is not there for you, who if something were to happen, if you broke your leg in the middle of the street and you called them, if they did not answer, sis, no. I have seen so many people and me myself, it's so crazy to sit here and talk to people about the things that I used to do. I... I used to break my back for friendships and you know I still break my back now for the people who deserve it but I used to break my back all the time for everybody because I wanted everybody to be my friend I wanted everyone to be there all of us to be together all of us to be cool and then I realized not everyone is your friend let me repeat that for the people in the back not everyone is your friend so you have to watch who you give yourself to. If someone puts you behind somebody else all the time, or if you are constantly making plans to see someone and they never follow through with plans ever, but then you see them on Snapchat every weekend with friends, they gotta go. They don't care about you, sis. If you never hear from somebody unless they need something, whether it's a place to stay, somewhere to eat, just to vent. Sometimes people just need to vent and that's okay. But if that's the only time you hear from them, not a, hey girl, you want to hang out? Not a, hey girl, how you been? They gotta go. I have been in so many sticky, sticky situations where I've helped people who only were there for my help. And then when I got them the help that they needed, they were nowhere to be found. And that's just kind of how it goes. You know, I understand people meet new people. You guys travel, you know, friendships kind of fall down a little bit. That's fine. But there's a difference between somebody living far away that you constantly can just call every few weeks versus somebody who lives in the same town who doesn't call you, text you, check on you, FaceTime you, show up at your doorstep, invite you to lunch. There is so, come see you at your work. If you are around the corner and I don't see you at least once a month, girl, and it doesn't, you don't even have to see me once a month. If I live around the corner from you and I don't even hear you hear from you once a month, whether it's me checking up on you or you checking up on me, there's no friendship there, girl. There's not. And it's not like a, oh, Aubrey, you're being exaggerated. No, I understand people get busy. I completely understand that 100%. But if I can't call you and the tornado's hitting, who can? Okay, I just sound crazy. But friendships are built to uplift you. If you feel as though somebody is not uplifting you and you feel like you're being pushed down or you're being constantly judged or you're being constantly used or you never can vent to somebody, they only want to talk about themselves and they never ask you if you're okay and your emotions, those aren't the people you want around. I know for a fact, after my 22 years of life, I used to have billions of friends in college, high school, but you know, when I got out of college and I stopped partying and I settled down and I've actually tried to make a serious life for myself, all those party friends, all those let's hang out and get drunk friends, um, all the people who made me do crazy stuff friends, I have not heard from them. 
Yes, I've reached out to them. And you can continue to reach out to people as much as you want. But the real process is if you were to not hit that person up, how long would it take for them to check on you? And I'll let you know now, it's been about eight months and I still haven't heard from them. There's some tea. <laughs> but you deserve somebody who has your best interest in hand. Regardless of if they're out of state or not, you can still have friendships out of town. I have a friend, ha, shout out Ari, who I've been friends with since freshman year of high school. She lives five hours away from me. You know, we don't get to see each other very often. That's fine, but we make it a priority to at least talk or send a text to one another at least once a month if or once every three weeks. It's just a matter of being there. We know that we both go through really hard, hard times and we both have a life. We're both busy. But at the end of the day, we know that somebody's going to, one of us is going to need each other one day and we still want to be there for each other. If you do not have a friend like that, where you feel like if anything were to happen, regardless if they're seven hours away, 30 minutes away, down the street, if you cannot call them in a time of need, those are the people who you are not friends with. It's not. I know, but to end this out, it is okay to cut people off. It is not okay to cut people off to try to teach them a lesson. If you are going to cut somebody off, you have to be willing to do it completely. And there's a difference. If you feel like you're trying to teach somebody a lesson, you need to just come out and talk to them about your issues. Don't be that person who just goes MIA every time they get upset because you're over dramatic. Like, you generally need to, if you are going to stop talking to somebody, it needs to be for good reason. And it's not like, oh, I'm not talking to them for two weeks because they made me mad. No, girl, you need to grow up. If there's an issue, talk to your friend because not everybody sees things from your point of view. But if you feel like you have been beat down, if you have been ran into the rocks, if you are constantly telling somebody that you feel like they're not treating you the way that you're, you should be treated and they aren't listening to you and they feel as though it doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter if you don't have money to go out to eat. It doesn't matter if you feel are going through depression and like literally they don't reach out to you at all. They don't really care until it's time for a good time or you know, all their friends went out of town and you're the only one left. Says those are the ones you need to cut off. Those are the ones that you just need to kind of scoop back from, go meet some new people, sip some tea, watch from the corner of your eye because I guarantee you the moment you go MIA will be the moment they try to blame everything on you. That's just the facts. And if they do, if you do cut somebody off and they try to blame everything on you and say how you're wrong and you're the issue, do not give in to it. At the end of the day, you are the person who did what was best for you. Nobody can get mad at you for doing something that's best for you. And that's just the reality of it. At the end of the day, nobody is going to hold you up like you will. Nobody's going to go to your job and provide for you like you will. Nobody's going to feed you like you will. So therefore, the way you feel about a certain situation and things you do for yourself matter more than anybody else. And if somebody feels bad about that, it's because they know they're in the wrong. If somebody's talking down on you saying they ended their friendship, they don't even talk to me no more, they don't. I mean, not cuss. They don't mess with me no more. All they do is go hang out with their boyfriend. But you've been trying to tell them that you guys had an issue and there's been issues where you feel like you're not good enough in the friendship or they aren't withholding to your friendship standards. Don't give into it. Just go about your day because at the end of the day, you're going to make yourself happy again. You don't need somebody like that in your life. You don't need somebody who's constantly criticizing you or somebody who's looking down on you. Everyone deserves to be happy. And if you are in a relationship, friends shouldn't just go either. I'm not saying that, oh, it's not okay for them to leave because there is certain friends who once they get in a relationship, they forget who their friends are. But if you're not one of those people and you generally are in a relationship and you wanna hang out, but your going out friends don't wanna hang out because they know you're in a relationship and they know you're not gonna be over there being a hoe bag, those aren't your real friends, sis. There has been so many times 
um, with this one particular friend I've had, have, had, had, past tense, where I was there for them every step of the way. I was always there in their time of need. They were always crying to me. They always needed a helping hand. And I was always there for them because that's what friends do. But the moment I would get excited about talking about a guy, they would not be happy for me. And it's because they had so many self issues to the point where they couldn't withhold a relationship that they despised me in one. And once I actually got real serious with somebody and I was happy and I even let this person know, they were not happy for me, not one bit. A matter of fact, I would plan to see them and they wouldn't message me back on the day. And it's because I stopped going out. And I mean, go, if you're in a relationship, going out isn't wrong. But I generally just don't go out that much because I feel like a lot of things go on when you go out. And there's a lot of single guys who generally try to talk to you. And I don't want to put myself or my man in that predicament. And this person did not respect that at all. And then once I actually like moved in with this person and we generally actually are seeing a lot of future things in our relationship, this person completely disappeared. They didn't want to have anything to do with me. And I learned that that's okay because at the end of the day, I'm happy and friends like that aren't the friends you need to be around. And that's for anybody. Like I said, it is completely okay for you to cut somebody off. It is completely okay for you to distance yourself from somebody who you feel like is not treating you right. But that's the end of this video. I hope I help some people out there. But thanks for getting it together with Brie. Catch you guys next time.